Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Underrail. In the last episode, we had acquired a few more excellent quality pieces of equipment from a sealed warehouse. We then adventured into this area, some sort of residential block, which we powered up. We've been reading the texts back and forth between different scientists who worked here. And we're discovering that one of them appears to have been affected by another strange monolith that they've been taking pieces of. And he has been seeing doppelgangers of sorts. We've also been eliminating a few coil spiders that are hanging around, literally, in this area. Let's pick up where we left off and see how much trouble we can get into in this area. And hold on, did we search these lockers? Oh, they're locked. All of them? Most of them. We'll open one of these lockers. Uh, extra special bolts could be useful. We'll take them. I didn't even bring all my crawler bolts with me to this location. That's going to be a bit awkward. Well, let's get to it, Tim. Oh, God. <laughs> so it's a greater one that's on patrol in this area. And we have another greater coil spider down there as well. Let's watch what this one decides to do. I really don't want to walk into a web. I want to see where this patrol, how far down here he goes, and if we'll have the ability to hide from him around the corner. As I double up to make sure that I'm not using my electrical dagger, useless against them. I suspected that we'd find another one here. We're going into a new zone. I'm desperate to leave this area while I'm not stealthed. We have more spiders in this area. Now that I'm stealth, we'll walk back. I'd like to clear out whatever this area is. This hotel? Apartment? Apartments. can kill this one. Uh, it's going to be tricky to do it without without this aggroing. Okay, we can definitely check these cabinets. Nothing in them. Let's get over to Oh. I wouldn't mind finishing this area up. That means we have to kill two greater coil spiders. And a shorter one. We've got to do it all in one round, which is going to be very, very difficult to do. We can't web them either. Coil spiders are immune to entanglement. Okay, we'll try this. First, however, I would like to repair our dagger a bit. You know what we can do? When this patroller goes back in this direction, we'll follow him. We might be able to kill it in this hallway without having to worry about being seen or interrupted by the other spiders.
Or we can just ignore it altogether. Boxing gloves. A low level item. Still useful if you're melee or fists. You basically equip it at the end of your round, and it gives you an increased 15% dodge, and chance to take critical hits is lowered as well. We could actually make use of it ourselves. If I wanted to go one dagger, and then use those gloves in the offhand at the end of my turn, I think we'll do this instead. I think... Just barely have time to do this. Oh, nope. We're gonna get back. Lose all our power. Let's shut the door. I did not have time to do it. Heal. We are, in fact, gonna get multiples of them. That's fine. Let's set this all up. Oh, let's crawler bolt this one. Remember, it's crawler poison, so it should affect them for two for two rounds. I do not have enough. I do have enough to shut the door. Perfect. Now that one's stunned for two rounds. We have a little coil spider in front, though. Wonderful. All defeated. Fortunately, we lost all the power in my shield and in my cloaking device. Thankfully, we have plenty of daggers. There is nothing worthwhile inside this room. And nothing worthwhile in the coil spiders. Wow. Ooh, hello! We don't have any biology, so that will be useless, but we'll take a look at that anyway. And actually, Tim, you don't need the mushrooms. You have no biology. You don't need those either. Super soldier drug. Let's just see what that does. According to this blueprint, you can create some sort of super soldier drug by combining the right amounts of masquerine, adrenaline, kinuric acid, and prednisone solution. Considering the nature of these substances, this could be dangerous. Predazone is a steroid. That's the only... Oh, well, and we know what adrenaline does. This is not... Predazone, isn't that... That's a steroid that, however, reduces inflammation, not one that necessarily makes you stronger. D. Slavkvik. Let's see what he had sent or received. How are you feeling, Dr. Slavkvik? Rotten. So no different than usual. Are you calling me for a reason? Just to see how you were doing. Now you know. I have a question for you, if I may. If you must. Why did you move to that small, claustrophobic room? Sirius has some of the best apartments Biocorp has ever offered to its technocrats, yet you selected the one that deserves you the least. Was there something wrong with your apartment? I thought it had everything. I began to despise it exactly because of that reason. I see. How so? Because it reminds me of everything I've created during my lifetime. My hands made human beings. Everything about them was according to my will. I felt like a god. And those I haven't constructed, I enhanced. You should know. 
Certainly, Dr. Slavkovic. Yet, I don't see why you shouldn't be reminded of these things. Aren't those great achievements? Anton. Can you not understand? I am dying. Biocorp is dying. It's just a matter of time. It is an end of an era, an era of greatness. It will all turn into dust, my friend, once you kill each other. And I know you will, Anton. I know you better than you know yourself. Once you kill each other, once most of Underrail dies of famine, it will all be dust. We will fall while the simple will survive, like rats. They have enough brains to maintain their existence, but that is their intellectual ceiling. Survival. Nothing more, nothing less. Your illness is fogging your judgment. Perhaps. But if that is the case, then it won't last much longer. Interesting to see Biocorp's conversations among each other. We're not getting a history of Biocorp like we did from the Lumerians. But seeing the scientists talk to each other, they're just as human as the Lumerians were. Even if the group of Biocorp scientists that attacked them seemed more like monsters. I apologize for leaving you in the middle of a conversation, Dr. Slavkovic. I was originally called to the Mugen tanks. I thought we were finished. You never explained to me why you left your apartment. If you so desire. That apartment, it is a piece of greatness, Anton. Greatness. That tiny space, relatively speaking, was Biocorp condensed into a form which can feed my ego the best. Yes, I love myself. I worship myself. I want to be reminded of how great I am and how great the things I've made possible are. Few stand close to me. Nikolov, Frassard, obviously Clarkson, a few more, but that's it. And that great man is going to perish soon. And it will all come to an end. All his achievements gone. That's not true. You will be remembered. Your work is monumental to genetic engineering. You were as close to a god as anyone could possibly be. I will be remembered. What do you get out of people remembering me? Reading about me in literature? Nothing. That's what. Because I will be nothing. Dead. And even those memories will be gone with Biocorp. So if I renounce everything I have, death cannot take it from me. I live with no possessions in this cramped room. I have nothing, which is as much as I'll have in death. It is not too late to turn to cryogenetics. This conversation is over. I'm tired. That's interesting. He was preparing himself mentally for death after being, I suppose, presented with his eventuality. <laughs> with Sorry, with this eventuality, which we all will eventually go through, of course. Barring some sort of horrific scientific achievements in the next few years. Austin. Send someone to pick me up. I want to take a look at the subjects in Mugen Tanks B. Certainly, Dr. Slavkovic. Dr. Slavkovic, I was informed that your condition has worsened. Yes. If there's anything you need, please say so. I need nothing you can offer. You might reconsider moving to medical center. You deserve better than being taken care of by a single nurse. I already told you and Austin, Amative. No. Now, I do have something to ask you. What is going on with the Mugen Tank's subjects? I talked to Austin, but he didn't give me any actual answers. I want to know the real state. They are under control. What about Austin's pet, whatever its name? Austin considers it his right hand, and he is unwilling to listen to reason. Biocorp is already close to the edge. Austin's subjects are numerous, and one of them walks around freely. 
I thought you stopped caring. It comes and goes. Come to think of it, I don't know if I actually care. It's more of a natural and subconscious thing for me to observe the goings-on in Hollow Earth. Much like breathing, it goes on without you taking notice of it. I know that you strongly oppose cryogenics, but are you familiar with Project Eos? No. It's a project of Dyson and Abdul from Tythonus Lab. The expedition, which went south, discovered peculiar monoliths, most likely alien in origin. One of the proposed theories is that fragments of these monoliths can be used to project someone's being into a psionic image, as Dyson defined it. Is this some kind of joke? No, Dr. Slavkovic. Matt V visited his laboratory. If you're interested, he can fill you in with the details. I'm not interested in witchcraft, Gavrilik. Now leave me alone. I'm tired of this. As you wish, Dr. Slavkovic. I read what you sent me. It is sound. However, I don't trust a drunkard like Dyson. I can vouch for Dyson, Dr. Slavkovic. When it comes to psionic research, there isn't a man more capable, and his recent discoveries regarding the monoliths have already opened new horizons. I personally inspected his work, and I am pleased with my observations. I wouldn't have brought this up to you if I wasn't sure of it. You didn't. Kirill did. Although I know you used him as a proxy. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Despite our differences, we both want what's best for you. I made an error in mentioning cryogenics first to you, thus causing an unwanted reaction. I see. When will they put the first group in stasis? Soon. I will speak to Dyson and give you a concrete date. I will keep an eye on that first group, and if I'm pleased with the results, then I will try it myself. Very good, Dr. Slakovic. I don't have much time left anyway. Would you like to return to your apartment? No. Send me Dyson's contact. I would like to speak with him. Yes, Dr. Slavkovic. I wonder if these are all the scientists which comprise of Chort. Well, we have a little more room to explore, I suppose. The cost was paid in batteries. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything else here. So we jumped into a room and avoided that patrol early on. And then we eliminated him and everything else in this area later. That's nice. It makes this area safe for me to walk back into if necessary without worrying about aggroing anything. I shouldn't be surprised that the fridges are all empty. Probably nothing worthwhile would have been in them anyway. This wall looks like it. Ooh! It can be destroyed. Oh my god, that scared me! <laughs> that scared the heck out of me! <laughs> Alright, well, thank goodness we eliminated all the spiders. Uh, this wall was distracting me. But it's, uh, it's fine. There's nothing there. Good God, Tim. Don't jump like that again. Hmm. The problem with this... The problem with coil spiders is I want to keep... I want to keep my detection goggles on at all times so I can see their traps. But I would like to use the critical goggles... I guess we'll just keep moving. That's a greater one, Tim. And there's a normal coil spider. Probably another coil spider over here, just waiting for us to attack this patrol. I can't kill the patrol with my crossbow in two hits, either.
Ooh, hello. Another trap we picked up. This is why I'm wearing my detection goggles. I really want to make sure that I don't walk into one of their webs. I could shoot it twice. With my bolts. And then get away. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll try some, some burrow poisons. I don't think it'll have the movement to reach me. I will need to wait for this around the corner, though, because I don't want to aggro the greater one. Here we go. Oh, we'll take it. Woo! And we leave immediately so I can stealth again. That was a very nice crit. Wasn't even wearing my crit goggles. Wait till stealth is ready. Because I do not think I have the time to wait for stealth. And because I killed all the creatures in that other room, I think I deserve being able to walk back there to re-stealth. Oh, I guess I'm kind of glad that this one didn't see me run back. This must have been unpowered for a long time. I'm surprised the Quill Spiders ha decide to stick around. Why am I taking this crap? I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be doing any crafting with this, Tim. You're not using any of your other characters that do biology. Welcome, B. Helting. Let's see what this guy was talking about. S. Parkinson. I took a stroll through the forest. It is perfect, exactly what I need. Thank you. When will you be available for me to stop by and discuss our projects? I would like to order the construction of an appropriate enclosure as soon as possible. I'll be free in about an hour. I'll contact you. Very well. F. Manu. Hey, Bianca. I got your message. Hello. Yes. I wanted to talk to you about the forest. Sure. My team and I want to expand the forest westward. Parkinson is planning an enclosure for his Psymorphs, so I'm going to need a bit more space to plant some of the other species we've got engineered. Why do you need me for? It's the G5 cavern. Oh... Yeah, I forgot. I haven't been in that part of D.C. for in five months. Okay, I'll survey the cavern for you. Tomorrow. Excellent. Can you get me some soil samples while you're at it? I'd go alone, but better to let the expert make sure everything is safe first. I'll take samples of everything. It's what I do. The southwestern section is what worries me the most, however. I reckon. So how's this project of yours coming along? I'd say too well. I'm, I'm always expecting something bad to happen. But all in all, I'm very pleased with the progress we've made. The team is dedicated, and luckily for us, since we are all specialized in mycology, no one is likely to get pulled for Mugen work, as it happens to other teams. Ditto here. Yeah, it is difficult to avoid distractions around here, but at least I can count on the whole team. Sure. All right, you'll hear from me tomorrow once I've completed the surveying. Okay, and thank you very much. <laughs> Us geologists are not as useless as some say. <laughs> Far from it, considering the world we live in. Don't listen to Dyson, he's just... Dyson. 
he sure is. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, hey. Are you going to the party tonight? Hello. Yes. Why? Just asking. There's going to be a lot of people. People need to unwind. Times are stressful. Will you be coming? Yep. Both Dyson and I. Good. Okay, just wanted to check that. I hope I didn't interrupt you in your work. No, actually, I was just done washing my hair. Currently, I'm waiting for Sally to pick up some spore samples I want tested. McKinley? Is she coming to the party? Not sure. I'll ask her when she stops by. No, it's my duty to contact her. Off I go. Ha! <laughs> Good luck, since she's in the forest. You there? Y you ask her. <laughs> I will. Ask McKinley. Let's see what you said. Are you there? Yeah, what took you so long? I'll tell you in person, but I'm here now. Are the spores ready for testing? Yes, I've been waiting for you to pick them up. I'll be over in a minute. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize S. McKinley was a girl. I should have. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I read S. Parkinson earlier. S. McKinley is someone different. You have to come over. What for? What did you discover? Come over, girl, and you'll see for yourself. Mr. Abdul? Wasi, is everything okay? Everything is fine. Everything. I heard you talking to yourself. I was thinking out loud. Is everything okay at TL? Just fine. I heard you had an incident there. I don't know who spreads that rumor. Rumor. But it wasn't our lab. It was the mutagen tanks. It was the mutagen tanks. I see. If you need anything, let me know. And get some rest. Yeah. Yes. Still will be very interested when we finally make it to his room. Okay, everyone, here will be the plan. When I see it walk in front, we dash out and we gank it. Barring some horrific multiple, multiple miss attacks, we should be able to kill it in one go. Although we might have to use adrenaline to ensure it dies. It's dazed. We will pa we will just let it sit there incapacitated. Again. No help is coming for it, so we can just keep it incapacitated. With that one dead, I'd like to kill the one I saw in here next. And yes, I'm going to keep my detection goggles equipped. Why don't we just shut the door on them? This is just a bathroom, I suspect. in the way of that door? I can't tell, but I think it is in the way of the door. It's either in the corner or in the way. Let's quick save and try walking into the room. And there's blood in this room. And we have spiders. We shield and we try to kill the greater one. 
Actually, yes, I do. I see a safe on the wall, and Garrett would want to search it. Nice. Very nice. Both are incapacitated. That was very nice. Wazi Abdul's key card. Glad we stopped in here for that. Anything in here? Probably not. Welcome, W. Abdul. Let's see what happened to him. Only two logs. First is to Dyson. Wasi, are you there? Or rather, from them. F. Manu. Wasi, I'm in my room with Dyson. We knocked at your door, but you didn't respond. Are you there? It's been half an hour. We're calling someone to open the door. If they come here, they will separate us, Wazi. I can't take this anymore. I'm too... I am tired, and I can barely see, and you are hurting me. They will hurt you more. I just want this to end. Peel the skin from your chest now. There is nothing left on your back. I can't. You have to. You're not you anymore. Don't you remember? Your body is a prison made of flesh. Get rid of it. I can't. You must. I can't do it. Why can't I just kill myself? I can't take it anymore. Don't cry. Pain is but a small price for your new existence. Your freedom. I'm tired and I haven't slept. You will never sleep again. You don't need to. You are getting rid of it all. Why can't I kill myself? We don't want that. We don't want your existence to end. You need to remove your flesh slowly. Peel off all the outer layers. What is left is you in your purest form. I can't. It is too late. Just set yourself free, Wazi. This game must feel completely different at this point without stealth. I've been playing a few characters who do not have stealth, and it's fun! Very different! Very different. But, oh my god, the sheer amount of spiders! Holy electrical damage! I have to remember that this, this place is this filled with such. Yeah, that's probably just a bathroom. And I don't think there's anything in it worth checking. An old diploma? <clears throat> Maria's Hope's key card. Clearance level 9. Region tanks B. So we're getting all sorts of various key cards for this air for these areas. <laughs> One key card to rule them all. Funny. Maria Hope. Someone F 
Austin sent something to her. I talked to Colonel Salik. More AF troops are already on their way to Mugen Tanks B. Have you talked to Mat to Matviev or Gavrilik about this yet? No, we have everything under control. A minor incident is nothing to worry about. You said that the first time, and the second time. You worry too much, Maria. We are making future here. Crucible is where we are creating new intelligent species. There's bound to be a bump or two along that road. They are living beings, and they don't like where they are, but we will fix that soon enough. Like we ever needed our subject's consent. Things have changed, especially after you allowed your adopted mutant to shove its nose into everything we do. Watch your words, Maria. Let me tell you one thing, my dear. You are not in a position to make me angry, so watch it! I don't care for how many years we've worked together. Otis will be wherever the hell I want him to be. If he's in the lab... Oh, I'm sorry, this, this, this is Austin again. Uh, let's re let's reread this, this bit. Watch your words, Maria. Let me tell you one thing, my dear. It, you are not in a position to make me angry, so watch it. I don't care for how many years we've worked together. Otis will be wherever the hell I want him to be. If he's in the lab, it's because I demand so. If he's cleaning my toilet, it's because I demand so. He is mine. He is the best I've ever made. He is what I want the rest to be like. He's involved in the incidents, Frederick. Listen to me. Get rid of him. You trust him too much. Same old story, Maria. Same old story. You tear all our work to shreds because of a few issues. Otis will remain as my right-hand man, and that is final, whether you like it or not. Let's see what G. Doglash has to say. The new group is ready for another exposure at the Crucible. Humans. Our team ha has prepared the compounds you requested. But I've been informed that our supply of reagents is running low. At this rate, we have about a month of testing unless we receive a new supply. Thanks for informing me, Dr. Daigalash. I will talk to Austin about the reagent supply. One more thing I want to tell you is that Otis was at the control room today again. I will talk to Austin about that as well. Thank you for the information. Should I do anything about it? No. Do not do anything. I will be there in an hour or two. Yes, ma'am. I was just informed that Otis was sent to Tartarus, but not as a prisoner. What he's doing there is none of your concern, Maria. Frankly, I grew tired of your nagging. Otis is none of your concern. That is that, then. Whatever happens next, it's all on you. Hello, Mugen reagents. We'll take all of you. We picked up a few extra normal lockpicks. I think we can afford to use another one here. A biohazard suit! This whole body garment protects from the most conventional, unconventional biohazards. 100% bioresistance. 50% acid with 25 extra acid resistance. Huge armor penalty. Movement greatly reduced. Will... Do I have room for it? We can take it. We can take it with us. I prefer using my biotechnician outfit. However, if it comes right down to it, this would make us completely immune to all bio, as opposed to 70% immune. I will, though, have to watch my carry weight. At the very least, I'd like to bring this out of this area with me. I could leave now, double back the way I came, but we're pretty deep in this facility. We'll continue checking these rooms. I can always change my mind and leave this biohazard suit here. Hello, hidden safe. We'll check you in a little bit. Wonder if all the rooms have a safe then. We found one in this room, and now one in this room.
NF2500. A compact old world 7.62 millimeter assault rifle with burst, high burst precision and rate of fire. 13 base action points for this. Wow. That's amazing on a rifle. The damage is decent too, and the dirt, this is a level 22 weapon. God, that's amazing. But if I want it, I'm leaving the bio suit here, and I don't think I want to do that yet. I could cut the recording. Ah, yeah, you know what, everyone? I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. I'm going to cut the recording, walk out, store the bio suit, and when I come back, we'll be right here. Okay, everyone. I'm back. Now that I have the extra carry weight, we'll take that rifle. Ah, we did not actually search the safe. Why don't we go ahead and see what's inside of it? Lock picking 60. A very high level hammerer and some special bolts for it. I guess we can take it. Hello. A cry shield. That will take, and you know what? We're not going to take that with us, and I don't need the bullets either. Guess he cr crawled in here to hide from something? Can't think of why else he would be in here, unless, oh, unless something else dragged him in here. Encyclopedia fragment, wow. Uh, decent quality soft foam padding. I'll take that out. Uh, I wouldn't mind having bolt triggers. Good thing the spiders decided to web up the doors that led to rooms that have vents in them. If they hadn't done that, we would have had to walk into all those vents. What luck. Another entertainment leaflet. Two oddity points. E. Mali. I don't recall seeing this person's name in the logs yet. T. Cox sent this person a message. You did not respond to any of my messages. Didn't read them. I was busy. You did read them, but you chose not to respond. I am sending you Brawin's contact. I believe my work is more important than teaching some kid how to work with mutagen. Austin says otherwise. Could you find someone else to do this? That wasn't my decision. I know nothing. I reckon Austin simply trusts you enough with this. I have a lot of work, Cox. Austin wants me to complete sequences for the next batch of compounds for his subjects, and they're becoming restless. I believe Dr. Austin is aware of all that you are telling me now, and that is why you need an extra pair of hands. Brawin might be young and inexperienced, but I'm sure you'll you'll fill him in quickly. All right. All right, what? Send me his contact. Good. I will. Oh, I think they messed up the final thing. That was probably BT Cox again. Let's see what M. Hope sent to him. Dr. Malley, do you have a moment? For you always, Dr. Hope. I talked to Dr. Cox about Michael Brawin, the young geneticist you were supposed to train. Yes. I was told that Cox sent you his contact, yet you never contacted him. Why is that so? I was busy, Dr. Hope. You will contact him today. But Dr. Alstein tasked me with a few rather time-consuming experiments. Can't someone else take over Brawin for me? Dr. Alstein and I already discussed this. He judges you have enough time to train Brawin and finish your experiments before the deadline. I understand. Very good. 
I am really sorry for disturbing you, Dr. Malley, but I have been having some trouble understanding some of the things we talked about today. You are not disturbing me. Tell me what you're having trouble with. Well, so far, I have worked only within the realm of classical, classical genetics, and perhaps due to it, I am stuck in a particular way of thinking. But I have been having trouble wrapping my head around mugen compound sequencing, at least some specific things regarding it. You read the material I recommended to you. Some of it, yes, and I have been reading other things, but theory and practice are different. I am sorry, really sorry to be bothering you with the basics, and basics they are, I cannot deny, no matter how advanced it might seem to me. Indeed. First of all, I want you to slow down and relax. We will go through the basic terms again, but let us keep it focused and concise. You will then have it in written form so that you may reference it whenever you need to do so. For everything broader, see literature I recommended you. Thank you, Dr. Malley. So, from the top. Mutagen. What is it? A general term expressing a substance which directly acts upon any organism's, organism's genome, changing or mutating the said organism dynamically, effectively transforming its genotype as well as its phenotype, both endo and exo, in vivo, contrary to classic genetic engineering. That is correct. You can stop typing. Let's keep this shorter. We don't need full definitions here. I understand. Okay, so, a mutagen changes an organism dynamically. What is a mutagen atom? A mutagen atom is the most basic unit of mutagen. A mutagen atom can be positive or negative, and they are inert on their own, only being effective as part of either a reagent or a mutagen compound. Correct. Again, short and simple. Now, what are you having trouble with? Well... What is the difference between the two? I remember that reagents can consist of both positive and negative atoms, while compounds only form positive, but I need some more clarification on that. Oh no! Am I gonna have to know this? Am I gonna have to know this? <laughs> no! no! Oh, the musical cipher was was a pain. Please tell me, please tell me, I'm not going to need to understand genetic engineering to solve a puzzle in this game. You slavs, you're awesome, <laughs> but I don't have to spend a few thousand dollars and many years of my life to solve a puzzle. Let's 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 keep going, everyone. Sorry, sorry. I see what you mean. I will not go into details regarding functions of specific atoms, positive or negative, their structure and all that. Obvious reasons. For that, you best study Fransard's works. Moreover, no sex, more recent, phenotype dynamics will also be a very good read. I forgot to include that one earlier. Okay. Regarding reagents and compounds. Structurally, reagents and compounds are pretty much the same. In both, atoms are connected to one another in a linear sequence. The main difference being that reagents consist of both negative as well as positive atoms, while mutant compounds do not. Am I being clear so far? Yes. On their own, reagents are not much uh, are not of much use. They only serve to simplify the compound combining process. We don't want to be working with individual atoms every time you want to create a compound, and it is a different field altogether in any case. The reagents can instantly be turned into standalone compounds even, by simply removing the negative atoms from the sequence. We did that today, if you remember. Yes, I do. Solus, ovoid, io, and a few others. That is correct. So mutant compounds, as should be clear by now, are only composed of positive atoms. Same linear structure. I understand that, but I have had some issues when I try coming up with sequences for more complex compounds. Maybe I'm just missing something. Okay. For specific compounds that we will discuss in the lab, but in general, keep this in mind, mutant compounds can only consist of unique positive atoms. You cannot have two of the same in a sequence. Game, if you're going to make me do this, please at least log this stuff for me and don't make me write it down. <laughs> but that is where I have issues. 
The example I was looking at shows reagents, which would, after combining, introduce duplicate atoms into the compound. Negative and positive atoms of the same type will nullify each other out when combined. I know that, but I still get duplicates even after the rest have been nullified. And I would basically need to add that one particular reagent just because of one atom the sequence is missing. The rest of the sequence is correct up to that point. Again, you can only have unique positive atoms in the sequence. If a reagent contains an atom that is already present, the combinator will simply not accept it and will only add those atoms that are not in the sequence. Technically speaking, you can add the same reagent again if you need it for that one atom. Say you nullified it at some earlier point and need it again. Don't worry about double positives. I think I get it. Yeah? Well, I feel silly now. Yeah, I rechecked it again and it should work now. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad for bothering you with something so simple. Thank you again, Dr. Maui. It's your first day, Michael. You did good. When I first got here, I had trouble finding Mugen Tanks B, let alone work with the Mugen Combinator. I walked all the way past Warehouse Block 2, I remember. I got strange looks by the geologist working in one of the caverns. Thank you, Dr. Maui. I don't want to waste any more of your time. I will return to sequencing. Better get some rest instead. Let this sink in. We'll see each other tomorrow. I will, Dr. Malley. Thank you again. Oh, that was really nice of Dr. Malley to explain that sort of stuff to him. And and I, I hazard a guess to us as well. Now, is there a trap right in front of this? There is not. All right. those remains. We're not taking the stairs up, and the elevator's here, but not functional. I don't see any other way down, so we go back the way we came. So, what did we learn, everyone? What did we learn? What's today's lesson? We learned that positive and negative atoms, fusion atoms, cancel each other out. We learned that reagents can be both had contained both positive and negative, but compounds contain only positive, which is odd because they're called compounds. Unless I unless I've already messed that up. And the recombinator, if you nullify out atoms, you can re-add them back, positive ones back in again by selecting that previous mutagen again. Oh, game. <laughs> I know that's going to be important. And I don't see any update in my notes. I'm probably just going to look this up on the internet. That's going to be my guess. I think that's what we're going to be doing. All right, we have another maybe two structures to explore. So let's see what this one has in it. These doors won't open. Neither will those ones. We have a wall, but last time I tried to destroy a wall with dynamite, nothing happened. And I don't think I can do any damage to a wall with the weapons I possess. Yeah, it's nothing happened last time I tried, so we'll just we'll just ignore that. Unless internet underrail walls. Destructible objects. Let's see. Oh, wow. The game looked completely different earlier. Holy crap. Seeing these old... Seeing these old pictures. According to the internet, I should be able to destroy this wall. So let's go ahead and set some dynamite and see if we're actually able to do so. In my previous attempts, though, to destroy walls using dynamite, nothing happened. A jackhammer might be required instead. Hello, skeleton. Did I search you? Yep, I did. Ah! Alright, it does work. Ooh, faceless! I'm here to investigate. Maybe they can fight whatever's in there. Oh, 
doctor. Alright, I'll see you later. Some blood in here. Neuroscopic thought control headband. This will be worth quite a bit if we take it back and sell it. And I cannot find a way to enter this room. What does that do, by the way? Thought control by 29. Thought control critical chance increased by 17%. Holy crap. Is it mental subversion? That would, that would be an amazing ability with this headband. Alright, there's no way for me to open those doors. Let's double back a little bit the way we came, because when I dropped off the the hazard suit, I noticed that there were some walls I did not destroy over here. Right there. And we still have some dynamite, so no reason why we shouldn't do it. Actually, we should double back and pick up more dynamite. This is electronic. Oh, this won't actually be worth that much that much money once fully repaired yeah it won't be oh hello gaunt yeah go ahead and you can investigate that let me know if there's nothing in there all right thank you sir for the, for checking you have a good day i see ya ah darn it nothing in there but a locked box all right i was hoping the box wasn't locked right, well, we don't need the stealth double back to our supplies I think we have like eight pieces of dynamite left. Unfortunately, I think that's all the way back here. <sighs> so, so far, Deep Caverns hasn't proven an insurmountable challenge for us. We didn't spend too much time in the Chort area, but the Faceless area has been rather kind so far. Now, the question also, Tim, is where did... Gaunt! Gaunt. Where did I leave all the dynamite? It's not in any of these. Alright, so this is the loot. Is that right, Tim? Is this loot? No, this is garbage. This is where your garbage is going. And your craftables. So we'll put that there. I don't need you. Okay. Oh, you know what? We don't need to carry this with us. As long as I'm back here, that can stay as well. Alright. Was dynamite over here somewhere? Where did I leave all that dynamite? Ah, here we go. We'll take we'll take three of it now that we have all this extra space. That's oh, right, weight allowance. And we still have some time, so I think we'll explore to the south next? Actually, no, it should be the west. We should explore out this way so that we can see if we can find that dagger. No, we'll go we'll go south first. Let's go south first. It just also occurs to me, I'm going to have to double back to the ARC power station and power different sections, probably. 
If I'm all done with the residential area, I should probably unpower it. I can do that off screen though. That's just gonna be doubling all the way back to the power station and hitting a button. Multiple times. Okay. South we go. I haven't saved the game since we started either. Let's save it really quick. About another 15, 20 minutes, everyone. So, lots of reading, lots of exposition on the teams that were here. Hello. I don't have a fishing rod, or I'd be able to fish up, I think, ghost uh, faces here. Unfortunately, again, I don't have one with me. I completely forgot that I might want one. We can always come back, I think, to Deep Caverns after we're completely done with this area. And I... I'm about to say, I don't see the bridge, but we do see it. No hacking. That, that box remains unopened. Hello, Cave Hopper. I'm gonna kill you. I was hoping for some skin. I like to see if the cave hoppers down here. Oh God! <laughs> Siphoners. I would like to see the cave hoppers down here. Drop some better leather. Wow, my chance to hit these things is not very good. That's better. Somehow, don't think they do drop anything better. The leather armor on that siphoner was not any better. So I really want to see if we can get cave hopper leather that's better than like quality twenty. It we may never be able to, but I want to check really quick. It's not every day I have an excuse to go and kill hoppers. Now imagine doing this, everyone, for an hour, which is what I've had to do to get the oddity item to drop from these damn things. <laughs> so, so painful farming up oddity items in this game. Coming for you, Hopper. And I want skin. You guys aren't even dropping me any skin. I'm just slaughtering you. How's my dagger holding up? We could use a repair. Oh, I don't have any normal repair kits. I only have advanced repair kits. All right, two more. We'll kill two more of you. Then I'm just gonna give up. I'm gonna assume that y that the the ones that run around here are skinless. It's like those cats that don't have that don't have hair on them. Yep. They did, uh, they did the Wazi Abdul to themselves and removed themselves of all their skin. Screw you, game! Screw you and your stupid loot system. All right, those will stay here forever. I'm not killing any more of them. It's just gonna take too damn long. Ooh, that's quite a few Goliaths. Or die. 
I hear? The moment I go visible is the moment that I get siphoners. So I don't need to kill those. They can stay there. I don't need a lake poppy. I do want to investigate to see if I can see the dagger. There's no guarantee it's here. Probably, in fact, is not here. Ah, uh, there's a skeleton there, but we can't search the skeleton, so it's pointless for us to go that way. That's a lot of Goliaths. If I want to go that way, we're going to have to f probably fight them. Let's go south instead. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like seeing bones. I don't like it. I don't like it. Makes me think we'll be fighting crawlers. Or death stalkers. There's a lot of bones in here. Some ancient an ancient rat hound. Rat hound alphas. Oh, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. I'm not that worried about them. On that same note, though, there's a lot of them here. I would like to investigate everything in this location to make sure there's nothing we need here. There could be more parts that we need. So... Why don't we eat some food? We're not going to be shooting these things, so we'll use our causal. That gives us 50 dodge. We take less mechanical damage. We lose our Psy regen, so we're going to slowly... Oh, well, we don't have any Psy. And let's go ahead and start us up a fight! Death to the Rat Hounds! We did not kill you or incapacitate you. I'm going to pretend I'm not afraid of you. So much for my increased dodge. Bleeding wound 10 each turn. will die at the end of your next turn. I think I have the movement to just let that happen. I didn't use Uncanny Dodge because I th thought I might get more attacks from the other ones first and have wasted it. I just want all of their items off of them, so this way they don't clutter up that area when I fight. We'll go ahead and leave them here, though. Oh, that's a terrible quality. Leather on that. We don't need any of this garbage. Yes! Incapacitated. Now you die. Uh, 
few rat hound alphas, but these won't be too much trouble for us. That will die at the end of its round. That one will also die at the end of its round. That one will not. Let's uncanny dodge. I dodged 13 attacks! So you did not die. Oh right, you're the one that wasn't going to die. Let's kill you. Oh, that one's gonna reach me. I think I'll get one attack off on me. Of course, we didn't dodge it. Yes! Good enough. Let's withdraw. I don't want that great right hound to attack me. Good enough. Get some distance. Keep the shield going just in case. All right, not bad. Seems like a waste. <laughs> Didn't dodge anything, game. Didn't dodge a single attack. And so I let you know, with our dodge rating of 353. Yes, I'm complaining about it. Let's go ahead and search the bodies for the stuff. A bit overburdened. We'll be okay. We'll add whatever I don't want to the stuff that's down here. Okay, so. 102. That's even better than what we have we got before. 38. I haven't found a better quality rat hound leather than quality 38. Like ancient rat hound leather? Quite a bit. Normal rat hound leather? Nothing better than that. At least not so far. I'll have to check the internet and see what the best leather has been that other people have found. Hello, tunnel. Hello, we'll search you. And there's nothing here either. 43! I was just saying, I didn't find any good quality leather, and there's a 43, slightly better than some rat hound leather I found earlier. We'll take it back in case I decide that I want to make some better leather armor, better leather. It won't be better, but I don't think I've ever tried to make rat hound leather armor. Do I dare try the tunnel? I think we do. How's my dagger holding up, by the way? I could use a repair. Let's wait till our stealth is ready. Pretty. Nothing I need, and another tunnel. Ooh, this rat hound looks like it tried to escape whatever attacked it in here. That probably doesn't bode too well for us going in there, but why not? We've come this far, we'll go a little further. Hello, giant Grub, you're not hostile. At least you don't look like you're hostile. There's another tunnel. I'm gonna leave the grubs alone. Oh, there's multiple tunnels. Oh no! Oh! We're in a labyrinth! 
Oh, that's amazing! Oh, wow! I wonder if we can get lost in here. That's pretty fun. Let's, uh... Let's go this way. So the faceless have been down here. More giant grubs. Again, they're not hostile. Oops, sorry about that. We got bumped. There's something burrowed under the ground here. It's moving around. See it? Oh, I'm about to say. I, I think it sees us, and it did. Oh! Oh! Deep worms. Oh, look at that thing. That's 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 amazing. You're not immune to daggers, are you? I don't think it's gonna matter where I go. It's gonna just reposition itself. Yep, it's not gonna matter. So we, we might as well stay. And try slicing us up some worm. Incapacitated though, that seems like a good time to stop. Let's activate our sh no, we'll be okay. We're pretty we're pretty evadey. We got unlucky against the the whatchamacallits. Oh! Oh! Activate that shield. We're gonna need it against this. Oh, there's leftover acid on the ground after it spits on us. We still get even more corroded with each hit. These things look like they regenerate their hit points too. Okay, we, we want to get close to them. At least when I have the watch called ability ready. That's good. Do, do you regenerate? I think you regenerate. Let's watch you. You do. 75 hit points. Restore a turn. Good God. Oh! Corrosive acid glands. Look at that. 100 biology to actually use it. Blastema. More biology required for that, too. How's our armor holding up? Uh, took, a, took a few hits. Uh, we'll be okay. Neither of these things dropped any oddity items. I'm just gonna leave all this here. You know what? I don't think I care about this leather that can stay. Forget about it. I can look up what the rat hound letter does. Should we kill a grub? Let's kill a grub. Let's see what you drop, grub. Nothing. Well, then why'd I kill you? You're not worth anything. How's our dagger? Still okay. Let's re stealth and search another tunnel. Many other tunnels. Let's just keep going this way then. I see the ground moving over there. We have multiple tunnels. There's ground moving over here too, so we have two more deep worms. Let's just head this way. I see the ground moving. Now don't. Don't get too close to me, worms. 
Oh, come on. Good work, Garrett. Good work. I'm surprised the deep worms just don't auto don't have the I know where you are vision. We're gonna kill this one. Because, I mean, they're worms. They'd feel me moving around up top. Oh, there's nothing even here. Let's make absolutely sure of that. Yeah, just deep worms, no tunnels. This way's a dead end. Go down that other tunnel instead this way. Come on, Grub. Move your butt. Miner's corpse, miner's helmet. see what those have in them. A compass. I guess we'll take that. Worm, you're kidding me. Come on, grub. What are you, what are you doing? I swear if one of you bump into me, we took the mining helmet. So, let's head up this way. So, a little un maybe unknown fact about this. You can put it on your hotbar and then use it. And it will show you which way is north at all times. What does the helmet do? It appears to be a regular mining helmet. The light attached to it seems to be broken, while what appear to be initials IH are written on the side. Chance to get critically hit by weapon armor attacks reduced by 2%. Oh, it's not very good for us. For my goggles. That said, we'll carry it out with us. Hello. That's a lot of that's a lot of grubs. There's a lot of deep worms here too. Oh crap! I was too close to it for too long. Can we maybe avoid it? This one's gonna see me. We just got another worm. Can I flee? No. you up, worm. I was dumb. I should just stay right next to it. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, it can't actually shoot me. 
Whoa, what's the matter, worm? What's the matter? You're in a position where you can't shoot someone, although you certainly look, look like you should? That's happened to us many times. How's it feel, Mr. Worm? Nothing. All right. Well, we, we fought for this area. I guess we'll take this tunnel. Uh, that seems to lead us back up the direction we came in. I don't think we need to go that way. I'm also making the assumption there's something worthwhile down at the very bottom of this place. You die! You die now, Grub. I'm sorry, but you die now. Bumped into us. You made me have to wait 20 seconds to re-stealth again. Let's repair our weapon. Let's take this tunnel. Oh no. Go, go, Tim. You can't hang around them for too long. They'll detect you. Grub, thank you. No, no. Okay. I don't want to fight more deep worms. They hurt. Quite a bit. We made it to some place. More giant grubs. Lots of... Lots of grubs. Oh, we have pillars here! More mysterious pillars. The last time we interacted... Well, Garrett has not interacted with any pillars. And I don't want him to interact with these either. But, if I'm gonna be honest, this is my first character that's here. And you guys... I forget the gentleman's name, left a comment, and I was like, Please touch the pillars. At least save the game and then touch them for the rest of us at home who want to know what happens. So we will save the game. And then, we will kill the worms in this room, and then we will touch some pillars for you guys at home. Normally, I would not have Garrett do this. Let's do it. Let's do it, worm. Hello. Bring it. Pop up. Do it. Let's do it. I'm all ready for you. I, I wasn't. You hit us both times. Can you dodge? That's right. We can make you miss. I can't but notice that we miss you on occasion. However, let's see if we can dodge some of your attacks this time. Alright, we dodged one. Yes! Cut you up, you stupid worm. Let's take this stuff off of you. Heal. Bandage. We'll search the skeleton as well. <laughs> Useless. Let's leave this crap here. Oops, I, I want that. I want that. Alright, let's keep clearing out the rest of the worms. Actually, I don't have to clear out the rest of the worms, Tim. Just leave them here. Hydraulic power unit. Let's take all that stuff. Worm, I hate you. I hate you. Oh, you dropped something. Nothing. You're a worm. Why are you dropping insectoid saliva? Okay, you're a grub. I'm sorry. I keep calling you worms. You're a grub. <laughs> I'm sorry. I misinsected you. Let's leave this here. That's not useful. I'm not gonna take that either. Oh, I'm still carrying the NF525 with me. I don't need that. Well, too late now. Why don't we kill this grub? It's gonna. I know you're just gonna get in the way. Nice. Look at those crits. Look at those crits. Let's wait till we can stealth again. How's my dagger? Dagger is good. Rancor, an unusually designed combat shotgun with a large cylindrical magazine. This must be new. Shotguns didn't exist in this game normally, so this must be a new addition. I'll take a look at that together with you guys after I leave it in the bag. I don't think we're keeping this one. Oh, actually, it's worth quite a bit. 
70 through 120 mechanical damage. Now, shotgun shells damage depends is split into a percentage, and each of those percentages is... So, when you load a shotgun and shoot it, the damage you dealt is spread across all of the pellets that are loaded in the gun. Different types of shotgun ammunition fire different numbers of pellets. A The type that does the, I guess, technically the most damage would be the is 20 shells. So you divide the damage it does, 70 to 120, and put it into 70 different, uh, 20 different shells. The more than that hit the target, the more damage it will take. <laughs> so, the damage is a bit misleading, because odds are not all the shells will hit the target. 70 through 120 damage. Spread angle's 50. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty wide spread. 20 AP to shoot it, that's normal. 9 range, optimal 4. Burst precision plus 10%. Good crit chance. The most shotgun shells, most shotguns have a 4% chance to crit. It has a shotgun burst ability, which is also very nice. <laughs> That's a nice shotgun. Maybe we'll take that with us after all. What else do we pick up from that body? What else do I not need? We'll leave that here. Do I need nets? I'm not going to take the nets with me. Everything else we're keeping. All right. Let's clear out everything else that's around here. Rather search everything else. Actually, Tim doesn't think there's anything else to search. Let's kill this worm. Come on. Oh, there, wait. There's two worms. There's two worms. I don't want to fight two if I can avoid it. All right. This is the bigger, more powerful looking crystal. These ones look like they've been carved a little. <laughs> They're not as glowy. I also want to look at the hydraulic water pump. But that means I have to fight some worms first. Well, let's do it. Oh! Hydraulic pump drive shaft. The gist drive shaft is designed to drive a specific type of axle piston pump. I guess we're taking that. Alright. So, that's... As far as I'm concerned, I'm done with this area. However, we're going to save the game... We'll interact with these crystals, and then that will do it for this session. Next session, we'll wander out of the labyrinth, and we'll get we'll explore more of the deep caverns. <laughs> yup. Three strange pillars rise from the pool. They are decorated with glowing symbols that you are unfamiliar with, and they seem to hum. Though you are unsure whether they actually produce sound, or if it's just all in your head. This is a bad idea! So, I mean, I, I'm... This is a bad idea. We should leave them alone. We should not interact with them. Bad things happen when you interact with pillars. Let's focus our mind on them for you guys at home. You clear your mind of other thoughts and just focus on the sound of the pillars and the glowing symbols. As time passes, you lose the perception of the world around you. You can no longer hear the water dripping from the cave ceiling or the insects skittering amongst the mushrooms. Everything except the strange symbols is darkness, and the only sound is the humming of the rock. A stream of blurry visions rush through your mind, but you are unable to focus on any of them. Eventually, the mental link with the pillars breaks. We can try another mysterious pillars, I suppose. Grab. The pillars are dormant, so only this one was able to probably to be activated. All right, everyone. Well, that does it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, the these now that's it. I'm done. I'm babbling. Let's just stop. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.